Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Pride. I'm your host, Daniela DeTore. There will be three student athletes representing Springfield College on the national stage this upcoming weekend, as Joe Fusco will compete at the NCAA Division III Wrestling Championships in Cleveland, Ohio, while Jack Pinho and Courtney Lucier will take their talents to the NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field Championships in Birmingham, Alabama. For this week's episode, we caught up with the trio to talk about their weekend ahead. This weekend, I'm expecting to perform well, hopefully All-American. I put in all the hard work and the groundwork to get there, and I feel confident in my ability to do it. Super excited. Uh, actually, a year ago, I was doing, we were doing a send-out for Courtney, Alex, and Carly, and, and I was like, ah, man, I wish I was walking, like, walking down this ramp with them. And a year ago today, because I mean, it's a life-changing experience to be able to be walking down that ramp, being sent off to Nationals, and all these people on campus come to support you. So, I mean, I've gotten crazy support from my teammates, my family members, my, my roommates, my best friends all year. I'm really excited for this weekend because it's my senior year. I mean, I'm just going to go all out. Like, I have nothing to lose. So it's kind of exciting to just go and have fun. This year I took on a leadership role, I'd say, more. But the groundwork for that was laid last year. I kind of felt myself as um, someone who could just lead by their attitude on the mat. And I step on the mat, I think I know I'm going to win. I hate losing. So I just brought that into my leadership role. I just, I did the things I know that I needed to do to win, and I just hope people would follow. And I think a lot of young guys did for the most part, and I think next year we're gonna pick up a lot more steam with that, and we're gonna be in a lot better position as a team. They, they think that I have such an impact on them, but they really have more of an impact on me. Um, it's not really about me when I'm racing out there, and they, they know that. Um, when they're cheering on for me, they know it's not just about me when I come across the finish line. Um, I'm just trying to leave a mark where I came into something and I want to leave it better than what I found it and that's what I'm trying to do for these younger guys. I'm trying to make a better impact on them. I've met a lot of new people. They've brought in my horizon on like even volunteering. Like I give back to the community a lot more than I did as a freshman. Uh, we get our homework done. We're in, the, we're in the union a lot doing work so you'll see the track team there. We're just getting work done and we're here and we're serious onto the track but like we have fun off the track so. I can't guarantee anything. I just, I, I can, you can't expect that I'm gonna give my everything like I do in every race. Um, I always try to leave everything out there on the track. Like, I mean, like I said, coming back from injury, I mean, you never know when you're gonna get that opportunity again, especially going to the national stage. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to make it back to that. So um, I'm gonna go out there and give it everything on that Friday afternoon, and hopefully I'll be racing Saturday again on against the top guys in the country. So over the past four years, I've had some tremendous support. I mean, I had the women's soccer team, my roommate, Olivia, she comes to every single meet. I mean, I had my freshman year roommate, Julia. She was, she came, she supported, her parents supported me. I mean, my own track teammates. And every, at the finish line, there's, the whole team is there cheering me on. And it's such a good feeling to have not only like the track team support me, but have other teams on campus support as well. To be at Springfield College, it's a family thing. Um, my brother went here, he was a wrestler, national qualifier. My uncle went here, played football in the 80s. Um, and then I've just known Coach Holder ever since I was like nine. So it just, it felt natural to be here and it just, the experience has only grown in the first two years. Last year, you know, I didn't have the greatest success at the end, but I built on it this year and I'm where I want it to be and I'm gonna punch through to get that plaque on the wall. You can find more information about Joe, Courtney, and Jack's performances on SpringfieldCollegePride.com where there will also be links to watch these talented student athletes compete. At home on Saturday, the men's lacrosse team will play Union at 1 p.m. in their final game before spring break. As always, make sure to follow Springfield College Athletics on Twitter and Instagram for all the live updates. Thanks for watching. I'm Danielle Torrey.